hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is simbia takadiri if this is your first time here you're welcome please don't make it your last by clicking the subscribe button below and also turn on post notification so you can get notified as soon as i post my content and if you're an og i mean a returning subscriber a returning viewer you're welcome back yay you already know the drill that i love 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 you so much thank you for always coming back thank you for always supporting for always liking sharing commenting Thank you for all you do i love you guys so much okay so in today's um video it's going to be a sequel is it sequel or sequel sequel okay it's going to be a sequel to um the insecurities in me video that i dropped earlier and if you've not watched that i'm going to link that in the description box below or probably on the screen anytime i said i'm going to drop something on the screen i end up forgetting sometimes so i'm just going to leave it in this description box below so in the last video that i dropped i i mean i'm actually still talking fast but yes if you watch the last video that i dropped on insecurities and me um i actually talked about communication and um my dentition being an insecurity for the dentition i've actually outgrown that but for the communication i'm still working on it and it's a work in progress and it's also worthy to note that i'm not sharing this so that i would be relaxed and say oh okay it's an insecurity you guys just have to accept me the way i am blah 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 i'm actually sharing it so that maybe i'm going to be conscious about it and i'll be able to work more on it for those that i have no control over i'll probably push myself or help myself to accept it the way it is and for those that i have control over that i could manipulate around i could i should find reasons for instance the communication i'm not going to let that um dissuade me or let that um throw me off or put me down i have to do what i have to do and so that's it one other insecurity i used to have back then is mine and i mean yes yeah, it's my hand you see how it looks it looks um like wrinkly and then if you also feel the palm it's kind of it's kind of thick so i mean i didn't know anything about keratin or anything but at least thankfully in my biology class i learned about keratin and then i discovered that that was why my palm was thick but this was an insecurity for the longest of time because i felt like i have like a manly hand hands like why do i have a uh, like, why do i have a hand that is this manly like it's so wrinkly i would see other girls other ladies have like very smooth hands and i mean it's not just the wrinkly effect it's also the nails can you see how short my nails are so i, I would see ladies with like long nails like fine it's not even because i don't um do my manicure or anything i mean i would just see their nails i don't know if i can i don't i don't know how, if you guys know those nails that look long and kind of pencil on its own it's not like they don't they don't trim it though they already trimmed it and you're still looking pencil and all of those things i know why i'm still describing it is like are you sure you're over it i'm actually over it but then it was like i would i would see a lady and the first thing i want to check is her hands and i'm like Oh, it's it's just me again this person has and so if i find find like somebody that has something a little close to me i'm like oh yeah let me just tag with this person this person has to be my person so i i kind of used to have like an inferiority complex around people that have like perfect news but trust me to mask it very well so that you don't know yeah so that was a thing like how would you have like a perfect nail like what i remember there was even a time i had to ask a girl what cream do you use like i went to make my hair at the salon and then i saw her first her skin was like glowy and i was young I, I think i was in i was still in like junior secondary school her nails were all looking long her fingers her skin was smooth she wasn't too dark she wasn't too light she was just caramel like like that i was like ah, ah, somebody can be like this so i was so that's something that used to get me every time i'm like ah, how can people have like these things but over time i grew to know about keratin and that's okay the texture to so people will shake you and be like ah why is your hand so hard or what you have a male hand 
a, a male palm and even people that are, even people that know they'll be like ah, i do you do, do you work as a bricklayer do you do like art jobs and all of those um very all those handy works and all of those things i'm like ah Ulua, what do you what do you guys want from me <laughs> but now um i'm like i am good and that aside another thing that i was insecure about was my walking step walking steps okay i don't know this is funny i think it's just me trying to find my way so i used to think that i don't even know how i got to the point where um i i i would think i was a tomboy at some point but the thing is because i was so conscious of my walking step at some points when i was growing up i would i would rather walk like a guy and i would because i saw that there was this um relaxed judgment with tomboys we were like ah that guy is a, that guy is a tomboy she's like that. so people were just relaxed guys will not look to look you too much or comment too much they will just let you be because they feel like you're a tomboy you're one of them so it was easier for me to work like a boy and do like that but when i now have to work like a girl i'm like i don't know should i cast work should i work like this so i used to be very conscious of it so i kind of like while i was growing up i had series of work steps i would try this if i look at someone i see the way they work i would try how to start until now i just work i really don't know which one i'm working but i'm working although some people say i can't work but maybe it's dog work so i don't even know i shall work now but then hey god i would always be conscious i would switch from masculine work to feminine work just so i can fit in if you, if you guys get so another thing that i would also say that is like a an insecurity at some point which i don't know if it is an insecurity but because now i i i don't i don't feel like that again but i used to, I used to remember then i was younger and people would always was my feet my feet used to be an insecurity because people would always say that my feet was big like how would you say my feet is big funny funny story they would say my feet is big that i have big feet and i would always be worried that i wouldn't get like um my shoe size when i get older and all of those things guys if i tell you that right now in my house i have like the smallest feet you will not believe it i guess maybe when i was in during my undergraduate, undergraduate days because we have to dress corporate almost all the time and then i started wearing shoe more often probably helped me um um manage the leg size but ah it was a tough thing i would never want you to see my feet anywhere because i didn't want to i would find all the ways to distract you from looking down because once you look down you mention it it's just like hey god is this thing again people should just let me be and you know when you're like dealing with insecurities it also comes with like a lot of inferiority complex because you tend to compare you tend to want to look at people what are they doing how are they doing it how can you fit in how can you... and then you just steal your joy you don't steal the joy necessarily like i was doing a lot of I, I, was, I was dealing with myself in a lot of ways that i didn't know and these things these things I'll iterate this these things continue to plant themselves in you continue to drop in you bit by bit and it, it just kind of shapes you and before you can mold yourself back into something else or something you want to be it might take time so i'm i'm, I'm grateful that some of these things i kind of realize it but sometimes it still kind of hold me back and but in all of these things i guess one thing i learned from biology was the evolution and the survival of the fittest that shows darwin theory survival of the fittest elimination of the weakest so i just learned to survive through all these insecurities and inferiority complex so another thing i wanted to mention was my dancing i really don't know how dancing can be an insecurity but guys trust me I used to be very insecure about dancing you know remember then you people would go to parties and like, I wasn't like the extremely or overly shy person. If I was in the gathering, I would still relate. But I would try to dance in a party. They would tell me that my dance, you know, is a bit. What? 
a whole dancer he done myself i danced you see no entire beats who are you <laughs> well guys <laughs> well guys they were told me they don't had the beats like I've, i'm dancing off beats like it's not in rhythm with the beats and all of those things and i would try sometimes i'll try to listen to the beats it's like i don't have ears for beats and i just like out and i i think that was how i i think that one actually pushed me to want to learn how to dance i don't know i'm tired of everything like there's nothing we brought to this world there's nothing we're taking back cannot come and kill me cannot come and kill myself because i want to dance although i still dance at home i don't have to necessarily prove to anybody that i can dance or anything i dance because i see it as a form of exercise now and since i cannot do any tough or hard exercise i would rather dance Ooh, yeah so guys then i would dance and you see it's off beats i remember the after exams in secondary school people would um like arrange we arrange the desk and the chairs in the classrooms and then just to create space and then it's going to be like a party people start singing songs people that can sing songs that one too was an insecurity i do not know how to sing any song so you will not find me where they are singing hip hop and all of those things because so i used to follow my goons my members who so before we'll be singing rubbish song maybe from gospel to fuji to all those local indigenous songs you know now so because i don't know foreign songs like and when i see people that are no foreign songs i swear i used to feel like hey god how do you do it how do you do it how do you do it okay so they would be dancing in class singing song vibing dancing and i would just be there i would you know that because i was doing the tomboyish thing i could just give them vibes but i would do dance to the point where you want to judge my dance i would just be vibing so you understand so that mood then a lady joined us in my ss2 ss1 i'm not sure a lady joined us and um she was a great dancer when she joined like when they have this after party after after exams party things in classroom where they are dancing singing and she's dancing the way she twists and i'm like hey mean it if you don't mean it how do you do it so i kind of used to watch her dance in school then i do my own vibing thing and then when i get back home it's like i crammed the dance i would try to move the way she was moving and then gradually 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 and then god now blessed me when i was in primary secondary if i join choreography they used to remove me is it that my <laughs> is it that my leg is in coordination or my hands are not in coordination i don't have any uh, disability for that one i cannot do choreography because if you ask me to carry my hand by the time all of you are carrying my your hand, is it that I've carried mine or you have carried yours and I'm just carrying mine? It will not just try and it would always remove me. But now I've learned that all of these things are just by the way, it's just things that you're supposed to enjoy. But I think I was too conscious to Heli that I did not give myself enough um opportunity to just enjoy this baby wood. I was just so conscious of different things from dentition to communication. Okay, communication even came later on, but from dentition. And for me, that communication came later on. That's in a way, because of I already had some other ones, my communication was still kind of somehow. So from dentition to, um, to, from dentition to my palms, my hands, to my walking steps, to my feet, you know, to dancing steps, everything was just like, so I would just be insecure. Now, I want to tell you another one. I know when I told you about the face, I only mentioned my dentition. Guys, there's still one more my nose. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, I'm also over it. I mean, I think for most of the physical insecurities, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, guys. I'm good. Okay, so my nose. But hold on, guys. Let's, let's, let's take a pause. I think I've been very rapid and very fast. I just don't want to delve too much. I think I've been using a lot of stories and stories. But I just want to mention them and how they've impacted my... I just want to mention the insecurities and how they've impacted my life in a way. It's just 
to share with you guys and to also make you know that you're not alone and also maybe how i managed it which is part of what i'm saying just don't think too much about it especially things you cannot control you were born this way this is how you were created it's not something it's not something you can control just live and let your life let yourself live do you understand live your life don't compare yourself to another person another creature you people were created differently everybody was created the same i mean just imagine there's no variety no spice everybody will be looking all the same are we cartoons even cartoons look differently are we what are those things that look similar like guys variety is the spice of life let's be different do you understand yes okay so another thing is um um I think i've been really fast as well but you guys should still bear with me i'm working on it i'm not going to relax i'll still keep working on it to a point where i feel like okay it's okay do you understand so for things that you can control which is talking about maybe if you want to dance you can control that because you can take up a dancing skill and if you want to um if you want to communicate to all you can take up a class on public speaking communication listening whatever you can read up you know those kind of things and i know some people can say for things that are hard of control there are now plastic surgeries and all of those things that you can do very well but for me i don't have the strength ordinary blood to tell me whether i wake or not awake is hard so i will not put myself under such situation because i want to look some kind of way now nah, i don't have the power i don't have the strength i don't have the courage thank you so for those that you can control do your bit and for those that you cannot control accept yourself tell yourself that you are the definition of your own perfection hey oh tell yourself you are the definition of your own perfection don't let other people or other persons other kind of people de de define your perfection you are perfect in those flaws and imperfections do you understand so there is that and i also think i've been gesticulating a whole lot i feel like this video is going to be a whole lot messy the way i'm doing it but guys there's also the excitement that today is my birthday and i'm sure you're going to be are going to be seeing some other videos with me on this outfit and you know about the birthday events and all of those things but that's by the way but guys let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk let's talk so guys um back to what i was saying so um my nose was also an insecurity i mean what's the purpose of this news what's the function to smell to breathe I am doing them very well. I don't know why I was so bothered about how flat it was. But, you know, you cannot help to be bothered if you let what people say about you get to you. So a lot of people say, ah, oh, your nose is so flat. Your nose is so flat. They look at you and they comment about your nose. But now, I mean, call me, I nose it all. <laughs> call me, nose it all. I don't care. It's my nose. It's my nose. Yes. So, I... I remember when when makeup came and people started snatching news like when that snatching of news came that point i was like ah finally i found solution to my nose but you know the thing is now that i even do my makeup sometimes i don't even care about snatching the nose because school see big deal you understand it's not such a big deal whether your nose is snatched whether it is not snatched if you cannot breathe properly if you cannot perceive properly you have a problem it's not me that have a problem do you understand I'm not trying to be insensitive to the fact that people have um, issues, health issues that can make them not perceive properly, break properly, or people are born in the um, born with um, um, olfactory disabilities, all of those things. I, I I totally understand that, but I'm just saying you should be grateful, irrespective of whether your nose is pentagon, octagon, pencil sharpener whatever shape your nose is as long as you can do what it is meant as long as you can do what is meant to do as an organ of your body as a part of your body just accept it like that be cool and if you still want to control it it is your body it is your money it is you do what makes you happy do you understand do what makes you happy so for me that was a that was an insecurity i would always do like 
just don't talk about my nose don't talk about my insecurities you're just going to kill my vibe because I, I might be i might be lost and be vibing and want somebody as somebody just look at my hand even if they're not judging the hand i'm like that's all you know those little little things will just kill your vibe from 100 to zero and then you begin to swing mood as if you are a swing mm -hmm. you get me so guys those are like the insecurities that um i used to have so i used to have insecurities with my feet with my dentition with my palms hands with my nose with my dancing skills communication and thankfully for most of them i'm over it but for the communication part i'm still on it and i feel like my youtube channel is also going to help me in a way although i know it is not too formal but i mean it's just helping me in a way you get it and I think that should be the end of this video and that should be the end of insecurities for now and I'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to share with your friends and family don't forget to drop a comment i'd like to read from you let me know what you think let me know what your insecurities are what your insecurities have been just share with me let's discuss it let's talk about it let's let's talk about it without judging one another without judging each other because this is a safe zone and if you drop a comment that doesn't work i'm gonna delete your comments yeah i said it so let's just let's just relate let's enjoy let's enjoy our imperfections together because if we're all made the same way it's going to be boring i'll see you guys in my next video Kasha.